So I've opened up, opened up Genially. Today I want to show you um, how does Escape the Andiparos Fabrica work. Hopefully you've played the game inside at the workshop and now you're curious about how it all works. Uh, basically this was a ready-made template. You can actually uh, find this on my uh, Genially profile. And I just changed the background, adding up another photo from here, and I changed the, the opacity so you can have both photos showing. Um, what I want to do today, I want to make it more mobile friendly. So that means I have to go and find all these multimedia type of... Um, elements and enlarge them. While doing that, I'm going to show you how everything works. So let's just have a look at the front screen. When I click here, the the active parts of it shows me that it says go to page 2. If I click here, I can actually change the page it goes to, but this just moves to the next page. Let's have a look at the um, pages here. I'm going to go to page two. This is a button where it's just a tooltip and it says solve the riddles and find the first number for the exit box. I don't think it's really needed, so I'm going to delete it. This is actually quite cool. It's the, the profiles I've had. I actually made it larger and it just says go to page four. So we can see where it goes. It goes to here and it just shows uh, our radical Fabrica team. So maybe here. I could put uh, a text saying meet our team. Um, just change it, change the color. That way you'll be prompted to click. I know it looks quite large now, the, the button, but I think they have to be oversized. Uh, let's see if that's at the front. Yeah, the, I think they have to be oversized so you can press them easily or easier, sorry, uh, when you're on your mobile device. When I was testing it out, I think one of my uh, uh, teacher friends said, well, they're not big enough, I think, and they're, and they're difficult to navigate. So basically here, it says go to page five. And these buttons here, go to page six. Go to page 12. These are quite large for the buttons, so I'm not going to change them. So basically, you're making a scenario where it's just jumping pages, and at the page, you're just putting an image. You're just uploading resources. You can find your own image, yeah, or you can upload a resource. You can find some resources, icons, graphs, illustrations, or you can upload your own images. here. So anyway, back to pages. Let me just modify the buttons. My cat's hungry. I can't really modify here anything, but if you see here, where the here, you see that it's, there's a, there's a rectangle that uh, it, when you click on it goes to page seven. And this is page seven. What I've done here is I must have put animation and it, I think it bothers the way everything works. So I'm actually going to delete the animation it had. And what I'm going to try to do here, make it a touch bigger. Not really a touch bigger. I'm oversizing them so the mobile app will work be easier to click on the, the buttons with the mobile app. Oops. Okay, so here is a, a, a blue rectangle which we've, uh, when you click on it, it doesn't actually show, but when you click on it, it goes to page nine. Here, these were ready-made questions. 
and basically I just clicked on them and changed the question. So if you find a template you like, go and modify the questions for the quiz and make it your own. I have to change this because this toolkit is quite confusing and here's the code. I'm going to put it up there, but I modified it a bit. I think the rest follows. I can modify this if I want, and this is the, the end. I put a picture in here, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed it.